going on YouTube? It's Joey Styles back in the building here with another Ask Styles. Today's Styles question is, Styles, I'm in a relationship, my boyfriend is hitting me, what should I do? First, first thing you do is, you need to part yourself from the situation, which means that if the, if the problem is going on right now, you need to not be in the same room watching this, because you might get hit over this. Um, no, seriously, no, no joking, no. Abuse is a serious thing that goes on in, uh, in all communities, all walks of life. Um, what I'm here to tell you is, is that, you know, everybody will tell you, yo, you can't stand for this, you can't do this, you can't do that. Listen, no. This is what I'm going to tell you. Sometimes you can't work it out. I'm not saying that you got to, you know, leave the person you're with, may it be a male or a female. I'm saying that sometimes you may need to go see somebody like me or other people, like a counselor, a teacher, a friend. Get a mediator. Find the source of the problem and try to eliminate the problem. Sometimes abuse comes from drugs. Sometimes abuse comes from friends and, you know, talking in the ear, telling them stuff that they don't want to hear. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it comes from, you know, parents, you know, telling people what they don't want to hear. And at the end of the day, you know, a big explosion happens. What I want to tell you is, is you know, you don't have to run from your relationship and the person you're with. What you can do is find a mediator, find a counselor, find a place where you could voice your opinion and voice your feelings. Don't go unheard and don't let, you know, you fall into a vicious cycle of getting hit, getting hit, getting hit, getting hit. Or, you know, you're abusing, you're abusing, you're abusing every time over and over. But at the end of the day, you need to come to a point where you say, hey, this is enough. You have to find a solution. There's one solution is find a counselor. The second solution is find a cop. Now, at the end of the day, if you're going to find a cop and you're going to call the police, you're going to call the universal number of 911, make sure you know what you're doing. Don't call the police and have nothing to say. Make sure you know exactly the, that you don't want the party around and you need the party out. Don't just say these things in front of the party, call the police, and then when the police come, you go, uh, because at the end of the day, the police are going to leave. Trust me, I know. Shout out to June Burgos. Um, a lot of times, you know, when a police individual gets called to a domestic problem or domestic household, you know, they're trying to be as even as fair as possible and they're looking to hear what you have to say. Um, the third situation, the third solution, and my final solution is part yourself from the individual. Sometimes it's hard to leave people we love or people we say we love because of abuse, because of violence, because of verbal abuse. Part yourself from the situation and find somewhere safe to be. Now, if you can't do that and you can't go to a friend's house or a neighbor's house or, you know, a place, you can also go to refuge houses at church. You go to refuge houses in the city. You can find homeless shelters to be at and you don't have to be in a situation you are in. Remember, believe in God. He will always take you through. Also, there's hotlines and numbers you can call so you won't be abused again. I'll leave those numbers for you.